All right, guys. So if you are living van life, then you definitely know how hot it can be. And here in Salt Lake City, it's been like 105 degrees, and that is just absolutely unbearable. So since we don't have an air conditioning unit in the van, um, not because we don't want one, it's just that they use so much electricity that you generally have to be plugged into shore power in order to use them. And we're not ever really charged, or we're not ever really plugged into shore power. So it's not something that we can really use. I've looked at very small air conditioning units at the little miniature swamp coolers that they make. Um, either everything uses way too much electricity or it's gonna put a lot of moisture into the air, which is generally gonna be pretty bad for the inside of your van because you don't wanna just blast moisture in there even when it's hot. That just makes it humid. You're gonna end up with mold. Not a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one of those ice chest coolers that forces air through a tube that's cooled by ice. Um, kind of like the opposite effect of what takes place in an external combustion furnace, which is like an RV furnace, which is what we have in the van. So I've already got a boat blower motor off of Amazon. I've gotten a 12 volt pigtail that's gonna connect to a cigarette lighter so that I can plug that blower motor into the house battery. That's gonna help me power this ice chest cooler. Then we can run the ice chest cooler without starting the van or without using a lot of electricity. Um, what I still need to pick up is a cooler, uh, some duct tubing, some reducers, and then some sealant. So once we get this put together, I'm gonna fill it with ice. We're gonna test it out, see how it works. And you're stuck in places like this that are really hot. You definitely wanna be able to sleep in a cool environment. So having one of these ice chest coolers to drop the temperature below, you know, like 80 degrees when you're trying to sleep in the van is an absolute godsend. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. We're gonna to head to Home Depot. Why don't you come along with me? All right, so I know I said we were going to Home Depot, but we've gotta get a cooler and Walmart's gonna have the best prices. So I'm really looking for a cooler that has a drain that's gonna be relatively small. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. Uh, I think we're gonna go with this big one. It's 43 bucks. Seems like kind of a lot, but I think it'll probably keep the ice cool the longest and probably be the most efficient. What? Oh my God. Nothing. I didn't say anything. Say something. Um, that's enormous and loud. Do you think it's gonna be loud? I have no idea. Size? I don't even know what you're making. I know. So I ended up getting a pretty large cooler. It has smooth sides. It's pretty big but it's also like a really well insulated cooler and it has a drain to let the uh, melted ice out of the water out but it's gonna be definitely worth it on those days where it's 100 degrees and you need to cool down this is a 99% Trent episode but I thought I would pop in and say hi I as many of you know work full-time so writing a big report right now but I think I'm gonna take a short lunch break and go into Home Depot and figure out exactly what he's building. I'm as lost as you are. Big Coleman cooler, $43.84. Four inch by three inch coupling, $8.92. Three inch by one and a half inch coupling, $6.98. Four inch by eight foot semi-rigid aluminum ducting, $10.98. One and a half inch by two foot ABS pipe, $2.46. White quick seal caulk, $3.28. Four inch inline marine bilge air blower, $29.99. 12 volt cigarette lighter pigtail, $9.99. 12 volt cigarette lighter to USB adapter, $9.99. That comes to $126.43. The reason that that's so expensive is because this cooler was like almost 45 bucks. But I think the more money you spend on a cooler, the longer your ice is going to last, the more efficient your uh, van air conditioner or DIY air conditioner is going to be. Now for this entire job, you're really just gonna need a drill, 
with a drill bit and then a screwdriver tip, a jigsaw so that you can cut the holes out where the air needs to go in and needs to go out. And then you're gonna need something to be able to strip the electrical wires and crimp the ends together so that you can power the pump. And that's what the inside of your cooler looks like. Styrofoam, two sides of plastic, pretty basic. Beautiful. So just go ahead and cut the eyelets off of the pigtail and then you're going to want to crimp the positive onto the positive end of the pump, negative onto the negative end of the pump. So you want to make sure that you have the arrow going the correct direction so that you're blowing into the air conditioner. Put that all the way up to the top here. Then I just used two of these one inch sheetrock screws to actually uh, secure the blower motor to the cooler. Then we're ready to put the cup link on this end. Now that you've got this cup link installed into your ducting, you want to take your elbow, get it pretty much as far down into there as you can. You want to get it below this lip here and it'll come out right about here. Put this kind of as low into that little section as I can. If this was cutting through anything but plastic and foam, I would be kind of worried about this part because I can't really set the jigsaw flat down on here to go around the radius. But I think holding the jigsaw up and kind of manipulating it in the air is gonna work just fine. She isn't pretty, but she works. There we go. Cut this off. And then you can take the end that you cut and that can go into the fitting so that you have a nice smooth edge on this side so there's no burrs or anything that's gonna scratch you. Now we just need to silicone up all of our entry points so that we don't have any air or water leaking out and then we'll be ready to go. Pretty exciting. Go around the inside and the outside edge of the tubing or of the, uh, the ducting here. Then you can kind of back this up a little bit, fill in all the gaps here. I'm not the best at caulking things, obviously. I'm making a huge mess here. As long as it's airtight, that's all that really matters. It doesn't have to be pretty. Now you just gotta fill it with ice and turn it on. So there you go, guys. As you can tell, I'm sweating to death out here. It's like 100 degrees. The do-it-yourself cooler air conditioner for your van is definitely done. All we gotta do now is go and buy a couple bags of ice, throw them in there, and kick it on. So let's go pick up some ice and we'll see exactly how it works. Beautiful. Another thing that's nice about this is you can actually use that ice for like drinks or smoothies or whatever you want because other than the little metal tubing that's in there, it's gonna be pretty clean. Maybe Except for not. your grimy hands that Except go Except for my grimy hands. <laughs> Today is the day to do this. It's what, 117 is what the dash was reading earlier. It's definitely at least 100 degrees just outside in the actual sun. Now we're gonna let that ice sit in there for a minute, get the tube really cold, and then we have a infrared thermometer that we're actually gonna read the temperature of the air coming out of the cooler and see how big of a difference it actually makes in the van when it's hot. Now that we've got the DIY air conditioner cooler completely finished, I put those two bags of ice in there. I let it chill out for about 20 minutes to make sure the internals are nice and cool. So basically this is gonna suck air in, blow through the chamber, which is gonna cool the air, and then it's gonna come out this port right here. We have this infrared thermometer, so it's gonna kinda tell us temperature. So that is reading 99.8 degrees right now. That's the inside of this tube. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in to just a basic USB port. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. That feels really nice. That's like, it's like a little air conditioner. Oh, it's cold. I think we just fixed our problem. Holy crap. Temperature is pretty much just consistently going down. It's down to 76 degrees. Remember it was at 98 before I turned on the fan. Can you feel it? Mm-hmm. Feels good, huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, down to 75. So, a couple things that I want to go over. 
This whole setup was 125 bucks. You can probably get an actual air conditioner for a little bit more expensive than that. But one, it's gonna drain the electricity of your house battery in your van so fast it's not even gonna be worth it. Or you can be plugged into shore power. I bought a cooler that was like 45 bucks basically. You can buy coolers that are like 15 bucks and probably get the same amount of cooling out of them. I believe that this cooler will actually keep ice for a longer period of time. So in the long run, it'll save more money than buying the $15 cooler. Also might keep the internals cooler, which is gonna produce colder temperatures coming out of the port. So this 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter, a lot of people in their vans have the actual receiver for this, the female end. So you can just plug that right in, it runs off your house battery, everything's good to go. I didn't ever install one of those because I never used these. I had to buy an extra $10 piece that is the female version of that. I have plenty of USBs in the van. So I just plug this into one of our charging USBs. We're in business, baby. That's great. Yeah, it's like... It's cold. It's like having an actual air conditioner in here. I was pretty skeptical because I wasn't sure how much airflow there would be and also how loud it would be. And if you're going to be working in your van, I'm on like conference calls all day. I didn't want something super loud. This makes noise, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be loud enough to like make background noise in a conference call or a video call. I think it's kind of, it almost sounds like a fridge. Yeah. Like when a fridge kicks on and it's like brrrr. Yeah. It's pretty similar to that level of noise. I mean, it's totally safe. There's no combustion. There's no no fumes, no anything. You're literally just pushing air that's hot through a frigid chamber. Cool. And then when it comes out, the air is cold. So kind of the longer this thing runs, the cooler it should keep the interior of the van. <laughs> Feels great. <laughs> it's noticeable. Instantly noticeable. It doesn't really use any more electricity than the roof vent fan. And when it's this hot, the solar is pumping out enough electricity that it doesn't even know this That's thing's true. running. That's so true. just lowering the temperature of the air of the room that you're already in. Yeah. So you want to keep the windows and the roof vent closed so that you don't have a bunch of hot air coming in while you're trying to cool the air down. And this thing is doing a great job. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep it on. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I think we'll kind of give this a few weeks try it out and then maybe do a more extensive review once we know the kinks yeah once we kind of once we put it through the ringer yeah we'll uh, let you guys know we'll kind of update you in one of the future videos and let you know how it's been working out over a long period of time if you aren't uh, subscribed to Trent and Allie already go ahead and hit that subscribe button check out our other videos um, I'm Trent and this is Allie, obviously. If you could give us a thumbs up on the video, we'd really appreciate that. If you're gonna try this, we'd love to like see how yours turns out. So maybe um, tag us on Instagram or let us know, shoot us a, a DM or something if you're gonna try it and let us know your thoughts. How does it work for you? What would you change? What should we have done differently? Yeah, and if you have any questions about how to build this or any of the specs or any questions in general just shoot them down in the comments i'll be glad to answer them for you in the description i'm going to leave links to every single piece of equipment or tool that i use to build this thing so you can see a full list of everything that you'll need to replicate this exact design pretty easy i think this is worth 125 bucks i'm just, i'm not sold it's been when five minutes when and you're I'm dying happy. in the heat just like oh <laughs> This will definitely make it bearable on those nights when it's really hard to sleep and it's hot and you've got the windows open and there's nothing you can do. Kick one of these puppies on, sleep like a baby. Get out there and try it. Yeah. Like the video if you liked the video or give us a thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Oh, this was a better idea than I expected it to be. What are we at now? Bouncing around between 76 and 78. Nice. Which is like... In the first 10 minutes, I'll take it. Really nice compared to... Uh, it's 20 degrees lower than it was yeah, five minutes ago. <laughs>